everybody and welcome to this week's Facebook Live. Um, a lot has happened in this past week. I don't know if you've all seen, but um, Celebration have released some additional bonus products that you can order with your $90 purchase. So they are, I'll share them with you now. It's these ones right here. So these are from the annual catalogue and you need to be able to use these codes that are already, um, that are placed underneath here as well. So we can get the Painted Seasons Designer Paper, the Share What You Love Embellishment Kit, the Scattered Sequence um, Impressions Embossing Folder, Pizza Boxes, the Delightful um, Detail Laser Cut Paper, the Petal Pomerade Paper, some Ribbon and some Dorleys as well. So there's quite a few options there to choose from. As well as that, we do have some new um, sets that are available just for March, the end of celebration that you can also, um, and these ones you can purchase. So we have a new stamp set called More Than Words that you can purchase. Plus we also have some coordinating framelit dies and a punch that, that goes with some of the um, products that are already available in our jam pack celebration catalog that we have. So here's some projects created using some of those new coordination products. So um, definitely if you're um, looking at purchasing any of those, jump online at christycrimetal.com slash shop online and place your order. And for every $90 that you purchase, you'll be able to receive um, one of these things um, for free or you can also go ahead and um, order these as a separate item as well. So let's get some stamping. So our project today, we are um, we're not going to do any stamping actually. We're going to create a card without stamping. So let me turn the camera down and we'll, we'll get started. So if you're online, give me a shout out because I'd love to um, hear where you're from and where people are watching from. Um, and also, we're, today we're actually going to um, be utilising one of our products from our celebration catalogue. So we're actually going to be using this designer series paper. So this is what it looks like. So we've got black and white images on one side. And you can earn this for free um, with a $90 purchase. So my camera seems to be a bit wobbly. Um, and then on the other side... It's all pretty colours. So we're going to use this um, pair of pizzazz piece today for our project. But I'm really liking this one here. So I'm thinking our next Facebook Live, we might have to utilise this somehow. So stay tuned for that. Um, so the pieces that you need for today's project that I um, was out on the, um, on the event on my Facebook page is some pair of pizzazz cardstock because we want it to match with our pair of pizzazz designer paper that we have here. So this is a standard card base size. So I've just done, this is eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, just scored at the four and one inch mark or the 10 and a half centimeter mark. I like to work in inches. Um, so that's why all my stuff's all done in inches. I have some basic black card stock and this measures five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. So just a quarter inch shy of our card base here. And then we have our designer paper. Um, that's an eighth of an inch shy of that. So we've got three and three quarters by five and a half. And that would then be able to fit nicely onto here to create a, a little mat. As well as I have some black, basic black scrap piece here. So I'm going to start with my scrap piece and I've got my um, Butterfly Duet Punch. Um, hi Sandy, great to see you here again. Um, so I'm going to cut three of these out using my punch. Now I find that I like to have my punch facing upward so I can see um, what I'm punching out. Especially if you've got an image in here, you can... Um, that way you can see exactly what you're cutting out of. Now we're going to use both our butterflies today, so I am going to cut both of them out. And I'm going to cut this three times. Okay, one, be careful not to lose my pieces. Two, and 
three. So I can set all that aside. Now what I'm wanting to do here, I am going to add some a bit of dimension. So I'm just going to probably zoom in a little bit so you can see this. And in the spine of my butterfly here, I'm just going to use my fingers and prick that up a bit so that it's kind of like, I don't know if you can see that. So it's like a 3D effect. I'm going to do that to all my little butterflies. So I've got three of those. And we're going to stick these right on top of our, our big one as well. So I might actually add that dimension to the big ones as well, I think. So I'm just using my fingernail to create those little creases. And then I can sit this in on there. Now, two ways to stick this down. You can use a liquid glue pen or you can use a glue dot. I'm thinking, let's see if my glue dots are too big. If not, I might use the liquid adhesive. Okay, I'm going to use a glue dot. And I'm going to stick that, because I find that's quite easy actually, in the centre of my butterfly. I'm going to do that to all of them. So what's the weather like in Victoria, Sandy? Because it's really stinking hot up here in Queensland. Okay, so we've got all those down like that. Now I'm going to start by matting my designer paper straight to my basic black. Now you can do this in any way you like. You can use your liquid adhesive, you can utilize um, your snail adhesive, whatever adhesive works best for you. I like liquid adhesive because I find that I can easily um, move it around if I haven't quite got it stuck in the place that I really want it. And I am going to stick this also onto my card base. making sure that I have my pattern paper facing up the right way too because there's nothing worse than having an upside down card, right? But I don't think this one really matters anyway. Okay, I'm going to stick these down in the in a line down the front here. Freezing today, wow. It's still, oh, I guess it is autumn now, isn't it? It's, it's March. Um, I'm going to start by sticking this down into the in the centre. That way I can line these up in the evenly spaced at the top and the bottom as well. And once again, I am going to stick these down using a glue dot. So I'll stick that down in my center and then I'll stick my top and my bottom. Okay, and then I'm just going to gently once again, just using my fingers to add a bit of dimension to make it look like these butterflies are actually flying off the page. Okay, and to finish it off, I've got some rhinestones here. And I'm going to use my take a pick tool this is probably one of the best tool investments i've ever made i'm loving this tool um, so it has a dual tip actually it has four tips but these are the ones i use a lot of you got the spade on the end you got your piercing at what, the other end i like to use my piercing tool to pick up my embellishments with so i'm just going to use um, the little rhinestones and i'm going to start by putting it in the middle and then put one on either end
Oh, thanks, Annie. I'm loving the colours too. Pear pizzazz. I haven't used pear pizzazz in a while. So I thought I'd better get it out and give it a go. And this pattern paper is absolutely gorgeous. And believe it or not, I haven't cut it up and I've had it since the beginning of celebration. I thought today was the day. So there's our project. So you can kind of see it on the side there, how it's all looks like it's got dimension. Now there's no greeting, so you can always add a greeting on the inside. So it can be basically for any occasion. Or you could probably even have a greeting in underneath one of these butterflies here as well if you if you wanted to. But I quite like it like that. So thanks again for watching. And next week, we'll come back again for another Facebook Live. But just remember, celebration ends at the end of this month. So if there's any of your favorite items that you would like to get, make sure you get in quick. Um, because once the end of March happens, celebration's finished, there's no way we'll be able to get any of these items again. So get in quick. Till then, I'll see you again next week. Bye.